to another Hi, Adventures in Eagle Territory. My name is Anna Christensen and I'm my son June. June and I have some fun eagle themed projects that we would like to share with you. These projects can be done right in your own home with items you probably have lying around your home. <laughs> Begin by having your child step on a piece of cardboard and trace their feet. Using your best artistic ability, draw large eagle feet around your child's trace foot. Go ahead and cut out those eagle feet. Roll out your paper. For ease of cleanup, we are doing our project outside. If it's windy, place rocks or something heavy on the corners. Tape the eagle's feet to your child's feet. You want some black? Do you want any other colors? Those? Okay, sounds good. Place the storage lid on one end of the paper and squirt some paint onto it. Assist your child and have them walk on the paint palette. Now it's time to walk on your paper and paint with those eagle feet. The first step of this project is to trace your child's hands. Create the body of the eagle by drawing a circle. Perfect. Cut out all the items and glue to a sheet of paper. Next, cut out the image of your child's head and glue to a separate white piece of paper. Draw the bald eagle's signature white head around your child's image. Cut out and glue to the body of the eagle. Remember those eagle feet you drew earlier? Here's your chance to strengthen your artistic muscles and make two more, but on a much smaller scale. Remember, these projects are all about having fun. None of the parts you are making have to be perfectly to scale. Put it on there, bud. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. Add flair. Maybe some talons, a beak, glitter, feathers, whatever. Cut out your eagle. Using the hole punch, punch a hole at the top of your eagle. Draw and cut out an eagle tail. Fold over a small portion of the eagle's tail, apply glue, and attach to the body of the eagle. Cut a portion of string, loop the string through the punched hole and tie a knot for hanging.
Start by cutting your potato in half. Etch a simple image onto the potato. Using a paring knife, cut out the area around the image. Feel free to add detail inside the stamp's image. Squirt some paint onto the paper plates. Dip your potato into the paint and press the potato onto the paper. Here, let's show them how it's done here. We will be using a microwave for this project. If your microwave has a turntable, remove it or turn it off. Place a piece of paper towel into the microwave. Remove the soap from its package. Do note that only Ivory Original Soap Bar can be used. Place your bar of soap on the piece of paper towel in the microwave. Start your microwave for a couple of minutes on high power. Place your soap into a bowl and use an electric beater to mix it up. Add some warm water and a couple of drops of food coloring. Beat it just until it comes together. Take a ball of soap and press them into a cookie cutter. Dude, what color should we use? Yellow? Okay. After the soaps are molded, but still kind of wet, you can gently push them out of the molds. Let them sit in a cool, dry place for a few days, and soon you'll have little soaps to wash with. Good job! So thanks for joining Jude and I on another Adventures in Eagle Territory. We hope you had fun making some eagle projects with us. And before we go, we just wanted to give a shout out to someone yeah, very special to us. Because. Say happy birthday, Grandma Sharon. Happy birthday, Grandma Sharon.